What's up everyone? It's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I want to give a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you want to shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time. You already know why you're here. So let's get into it. We're talking about how I edit my photos. If you're looking for a video for how to create your own unique editing style for Instagram, how to create your own Instagram aesthetic, not copying anybody else's edit, then you need to watch this video. Watch this one, figure it out how to create your own ish. In this video, I had a lot of requests from all of you saying, Millie, we get it. We know we can make our own style but we wanna know how you do your style. So that's what we're getting into today. I am going to be editing on my phone using the mobile Lightroom app, which is free. When I take pictures with my camera, I will typically edit those on my laptop, but anytime I take a picture on my phone, I'm just gonna edit it on my phone. It's convenient, it's there. So that's what I'm gonna show you how I do. The preset pack that I use is from Ariel Vey. So Ari's a family friend and I'm actually best friends with her sister, Adria Vey and I just love Aries feed. Like, come on, do you see this right now? Oh, obsessed. So I use her presets and then put my own twist to it, making sure that the photos are more dominant on the teal orange scale. So anytime I edit a photo, I'm always using one of her presets. I got the mobile preset pack with all of her edits and that's what I stick to. What's important to understand when purchasing a preset pack is purchase a pack that has photos edited the way you want to edit your photos. For example, um, let's go to Pretty Little Fawn or something like that. Yeah, okay. For the longest time, I wanted my feed to be like orange and teal. Yeah, orange and teal combo but I would purchase preset packs that would look like this. I'm like, ooh, vintage preset packs. Those look so cool, right? And then I would edit the photos and I'd be like, why aren't these photos orange and teal? Like, I don't get it. And it's because I wasn't purchasing presets that looked the way I wanted my feed to look. I know that sounds like a no duh Millie thing, but I swear it's a mistake we make and it's fine, we learn we grow. So if you're gonna purchase a preset pack, common places to do that, you could find them on Pinterest or Etsy. Make sure it's the style that you want your dream feed to look like, okay? So going into, I have a few pictures we want to edit. So we're going to be editing this picture. We're also going to be editing this picture. And we're also going to be editing this picture. The reason I picked these three photos is because they all have different lighting situations going on and a good preset pack will cater to every lighting circumstance. For example, the first picture we're going to edit, which is this one, this was taken kind of during golden hour before. You could probably see it more golden-y here. So this was taken during golden hour or during the sunset, there's more sun. It's a sunny day, you could see it's a blue sky, some clouds in sight. So this is one lighting situation. The next lighting situation is indoors in a freaking, I was it in a basement, underground for a spa. And then the other lighting situation was a cloudy day, almost rainy day here. So we're gonna see which presets match each lighting situation. Let's start with this one. So let's go straight to presets. This is my Ariel Vey preset, which I'll link below if you want it. I think I have a discount code. I might have a discount code if you wanna use it. I'll link everything below. Uh, I'm just gonna tap through. This one, a little too bright. This one, cool, cool. Love the nice contrast with, with the blue sky and then the orange walls, a little too much. That's a great one. Manzanita, another great one. That one's not bad. Sundown, sundown, the sun's going down. Get it? I don't know if that's really it, but it looks pretty good for this sundown lighting. Let's go back to getaway versus sundown. Let me see what sundown looks like when I bring the brightness or exposure down. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Now I'm going to crop this because I don't want, you can see the railing in the bottom left hand side. Literally we were like two patios away from this window, but I was like, Adria, we gotta get this shot. Zoom in as much as you can and we'll make it happen. So four by five, crop, little bit of patio didn't hurt nobody. So what I wanna pay attention to here is you see the rule of thirds 
the grid, this thing, the grid that's happening, I'm kind of making sure the window is centered and then the bottom horizontal line here is going right through the railing where I'm standing. That would be a good one. Boop, boop. The only kind of issue I have with it is the white strip on the far right over here, this white strip, but we could probably edit that out eventually before or after. Right now I'm like, great, this looks good. I didn't really have to edit it at all. The preset made it chef's kiss, but I really wanna make sure it fits my feed. So I always have my feed open in the app so I could go back and forth like this. Okay, right now I'm looking at the oranges in the wall. It could probably be a little bit more vibrant. Even the blue, blue looks pretty good, maybe more saturation. So I'm gonna go to the colors, see what that looks like. Okay, getting better. Now the only thing is like this cream color wall in the center. I kind of want it more white. Usually walls, cement, asphalt, pavement, whatever, usually falls in the yellow category on the HSL. That's a wild guess, let's see if it is. Boom, 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 boom. I move something around erratically to see where the colors fall. That seems to be where the yellow is. So I'm gonna bring the saturation down, luminance up, and then go to the orange, make those walls pop a little more. It's hard because my skin's very orange. I'm very much Oompa Loompa, so I don't wanna play with the oranges too much. Let's bring this back up before and after. That's not too shabby. Not bad, not bad. Okay, pretty happy with that. Pretty easy edit. So let's move on to the indoor one because I know that's gonna be a pain in the tush. Indoor photos are always harder for me to edit because it's like, I can't really control the lighting too much. For example, this, we were literally underground for the spa. They had the horrible, horrible lights and like nobody wants to take pictures with this lighting. So I wanna see what I could do. Already, airy, these presets, I swear. Ooh, chamomile is nice. It really brightens it up. I noticed chamomile, first light and linen are usually really great for indoor photos. So already first light, I could probably tap ahead to linen. There's a tint of green that I'm not a fan of with linen for this photo. First light, again, love it. So when you're applying these presets, it's important to understand like most presets aren't just slap and go, right? You don't just slap it on the photo, expect it to be perfect and then post it to your feed. There's always going to be some manipulation of the lighting, the colors to make it the way you want it. So set your expectations, not low, but more more realistic, a lot of people think, oh, a preset, I should just press the preset and bam, my photo's perfect. Like there's always gonna be some tweaking. I really liked chamomile and first light. As I tap between these two, chamomile, first light, I'm looking at the tint of the whites. So if you look at the white on the wall, I'm checking to see what shade it kind of switches back and forth toward. Let's go to chamomile, looks a little greeny. This is more warm, green, and warm. I love warmer toned photos. My feed's definitely a little bit more warm tone, less vibrant, like it's kind of subtle, not too poppy, a little poppy, whatever. So going back and forth, there's a lot of orange going on. So something that I wanna try, when you apply a preset, if you notice the colors are a little wonky, you want to adjust the white balance. So I'm gonna go to color, this little dropper here, and I'm gonna find like a neutral target to see if it changes the photo to like a shade that I like. I think that that one was the best neutral, but I'm liking this, I could adjust it from here. So bring that, undo, let's go to mix. Let's go to yellows because most of the things that I don't like always fall in the yellows. Yeah, see, the wall is very yellow. Everything's very yellow. So bring that saturation down almost all the way. Make sure the yellows are really pushed to the orange. I don't like, you see how it's like the green tint. I don't like green tints in my photos. I'm not a fan of green in my photos, period. If I can avoid trees, I will avoid trees when taking pictures because it's the hardest color for me to edit. So I'm always pushing the yellows to orange as much as possible. And then, oh yeah, look how bougie that is. Brightness without blowing out details. Love it. Before, after. Um, I think I'm centered. Crop four by five. Another trick that you can do to kind of predict what your image is going to look like in Instagram, I always select four by five, right? Cause that's the Instagram crop. And then when I have a crop that I like, I'm like, okay, this looks great, perfect. I'm gonna tap over to one by one real fast. And this is what it's going to look like in my feed. So from a feed glance, like from here, this glance, this is what's going to be shown. 
and I'm, I'm okay with that. So undo, keep, crop is fine. This is nice. What color is that chair? Maybe we can make the chair pop a little more. To find what color things are, like I said, I just kind of like move things around erratically to see where the color falls. Is it a green? Oh, it's in the greens. You see how the chair is starting to move? Or the shade of it? So it's kind of in the greens. I'm gonna push it over to blue, bring that saturation. Ooh, I don't like the saturation. We'll keep where the saturation was. Now it's further blue, which we love this. We love this. Easy, wow, this is so nice. Okay, ignore the booty pictures. Uh, didn't like those. Oh, now we're doing the New York photos. So this was fun, this was fun. My goal for this photo is to edit out all of the people's legs. Like earlier I said, we're gonna edit out the strip of the wall, everybody's legs. So it looks like I was the only one here. First, we need to apply presets. So we have Cabana, Capri, not bad. Chamomile, not bad. Getaway. Getaway is always a good one. Look at what I'm telling you. Manzanita, always good. I might go back to getaway. Oh, getaway, you have my heart. You truly have my heart. I want my pants to pop though, because I love teal, as you know. And so we're gonna go back to color, mix, see where it falls in the blues. It's not a teal, so, or aqua. So it might, might be in the blue, blue. There we go. That matches the blue in my feed, great. Bring it up a little saturation wise, be a little darker, yeah. I think that matches the blue pretty well. My skin tone, making sure my skin tone matches in the pictures. So these two are like indoor shots, so I don't wanna compare it to my indoor stuff. I wanna compare it to my outdoor photos. Skin's pretty normal. Um, so what I wanna do is fix the crop and then we'll start editing out people's feet and the other wall. Here's cropping it in. Hmm. Let me see what that looks like one by one. That's what it'll look like in my feed, but the problem here is I don't look centered. Let me try again. Okay, cropping looks good. Before? After. Pretty satisfied with that. Let me look at the overall color of the photo. Looks good. So we're gonna save this one because we wanna edit out the people's legs. And we're also going to save this one because I want that white strip on the side to just be the orange. So export and switch to retouch. Let's do this one because it'll be easy to explain. So this is the retouch app. I think it's $2.99 in the app store. Object removal. And I'm just gonna do this entire side, all of the white. Boom shakalaka, it's out of there. So then I would save this and be a happy camper. Next, let's remove people's feet. So this one's gonna be hard because you can see like people's legs are overlining this background versus the cement background, the glass, different lines, and it's gonna be a mess, but we will try. So let's start with the easy one. This one looks simple. Object removal, boop, 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 go. I mean, at the over glance, like, Perfect. Let's remove this guy. We're not sponsored by Nike. Go. These tootsies. Shout out to Erica for being a babe. Okay. Those are all of the simple edits. I think maybe this would be a simple one. Yep, that was a simple one. Maybe this strap right here will be a simple one. By simple, I just mean there's nothing else surrounding it. There's not overcrossing legs, weird crisscrosses happening. This one might be hard because it crosses this line right here. When it's a hard one, I'll usually do it in bite-sized pieces, but we're gonna do it all in one just to see what happens. And, oh, perfect. Love this skirt, by the way. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see how the lines are now like meh, 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 meh. What I could do is I could try to clean it up post removing. So remove that, remove that, and then bring this line, go. I mean, it doesn't look too bad when you zoom it out. Nobody's gonna know. Let's try and see what happens here. This one's not crossing any like harsh lines, so this might be an easy one. Hey, that was an easy one. Perfect. This isn't crossing too many lines, so this might be easy. This might be an easy one. Look at those legs. They're smaller than mine. God, dancer legs. That'll do. Okay, we'll see. We'll see about you, sweetie. Cool. Go, go, go. There we go. <laughs> now in the reflection, he's missing a leg, but it's fine. That'll, that'll work, that'll work. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my next video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. All your joy, bye.